What's going on, everybody? It's Stupid Episode. Let's welcome to episode 20 of our Detective Pikachu Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we basically were able to figure out some more lore. We know that Pikachu made a promise to Mewtwo about something, but we don't know what exactly. So we're hoping that we'll be able to figure up some of this mysterious, serious lore that we got going on. Are you sure there's nothing you've missed on the arc? Uh, nope, nothing I missed. So let's head on out. All right, let's get out of here. Yes. Well, so far so good. Yeah. You had to say something. <laughs> Tim, close the door now. What? Just close the door. Hurry! Hold it, pal. Hey now, who are you? Why uh -oh. you? Not good. <clears throat> really, bitch. Open this door. How slow and dense are what you? What should we do? He's gonna get us, Pikachu. Seems we're trapped, like a Rattata in a cage. So I know you're in there. Open up. Did say Rattata? Are you ready? You gotta open up the door just as he tries to smash into it. Got it. Come on. Escape from the factory manager. Got it. There we go. Pikachu. <laughs> he's got those stubby legs because he's trying to walk. You're done. I'm coming after you. Oh shit. Distract him for us. Yeah. You wanna fight? You're gonna lose that fight, man. 100 percent Come on! Smash him the air button. Are you gonna drop that on his head? Oh my god! <laughs> Not really. What the fuck? You think this will stop me? What the shit? Well, apparently not. Where are you? I'm coming for he you. He punched through that. Well, well he's dead. No, nope, he thought he's gonna fall off the rail. Good and luck he, with that. He's also yeah. extremely stupid. He's chance. hitting something, but he. Oh shit! I missed. <laughs> Oh no. I'm gonna get you. We were gonna kill him. Oh, I guess we have to kill him. Well. We headed to the first floor to rescue Simon. However, he proposed an idea that took us completely off guard. Ooh, what's that idea? Oh, perfect. There's a container right here. We open it up. What's inside? It's just big enough for the two of you. What? Go on. Get in. Really? What's it for anyway? The product being shipped today. Guys from the organization will take it. So that should get you right to their headquarters. I don't know. It's our only clue. We've got to take this chance. Oh right, shit. Then. Please take this to Mr. Baker. Your notes on their plans. Great idea, Tim. Yeah, it's no, more yeah, common so sense to get the police there. Here they come. Hurry. All right. Come on, Pikachu. Get in there. But what about you? I'll be fine. Don't worry. Be super careful. Good luck to you both. Will you continue playing? Yes. Chapter 8. Where R goes. Where are we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We stayed as quiet as we could in there in the dark for quite a long time, all to figure out where R would eventually end up. Hey, don't we need that container too? No, nah, it doesn't have the mark. It's just food. Oh That's shit. It, then. Yep, we better get moving. Chief Norman is not a very patient guy. That's for sure. You got it? Yeah, I got it. His dog barking. I think they're gone. Here, let me help you. Hey, stop treating me like a Pokemon. You are a Pokemon. Oh. Ah, freedom at last. Is this some kind of storage space? It looks like a factory. I agree. But they mentioned Keith's name. Think it's their base? Mm. I'm not sure if it's their base. We know the containers with R in them were taken to him. Now what? We look for R, and then I'll bet you we find Keith. Sounds good to me. Let's get going. Hmm. Holy shit. Find out where R has been taken. Where did 
did the containers go? Let's follow the trail, Tim. What trail? We are in a empty room. All right, let's see. Oh, hello. This doesn't look like the box for R. Yeah, it seems like all R has been moved out already. Let's see. Okay. The, uh. Yeah, just from everything they have there, this must be a storage room of some kind. Okay. No, not bet. I bet we're on one of the boats. That's what I'm willing to bet. All right. Let's see. Oh, there's a Rattata and a Lolan Rattata. Hey, Rattata, do you think you could tell us about this place? About this place. The best? It's that good? Rattata, Rattata. Oh, I see. You've got a lot of food, and you've also made a good friend, huh? Huh? Wait, have we met you before? About the men, the luggage. What? You say they came through here? They headed up the elevator we passed. We need to follow them. Yeah, let's hurry. Okay. What about you? Alolan Rattata, raised on a tropical island. Is this the first Alolan variant we've seen? Huh? It looks like a Rattata, but is it a different Pokemon? You're crying? I guess you are a Rattata, after all. It has a more subdued coloring than usual, and its body shape is a little different, too. About this place. If you're not sure, you got lost and ended up here after wandering around aimlessly. The food where you were before was fresher, but you made a friend here, so it's the best? That's good, I guess. And the men with the luggage. You don't know. You were too busy talking to your friend here to pay attention. It's fun when you hang out together. Glad to hear you two get along. Okay, so they went up the elevator. I want to look around some more. See if we can't find anything else. Can we get past these two? Uh, nope. Invisible wall. Invisible walls, baby. Gotta love them. <clears throat> Let's be careful, Tim. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit. I knew it was on a boat. We're on a cruise liner? Lapras. Elegant queen. What's this? Rion. Sparkling idols. Chinchino. Relaxed tourists. Frillish. Stunning waiter. Is it some kind of resort? Can't be. A resort in the middle of the sea? I guess so. What else could it be? Ah, it's a cruise this is liner. what's called a luxury cruise ship. SS Prime Treasure. Hmm. You think they're using a cruise ship to smuggle stuff? Probably. <clears throat> this is no good. If so, we need to find Keith and quickly. Right. Everyone here is in danger. All right, let's talk to hey, Tim. the locals. Tim. Maybe someone saw the men carrying the container. Let's ask around on deck. That's that was the plan, big dog. Fruit? About the luxury cruise ship. It's too big and confusing. You get lost. You get so lost that the drinks would cool off by the time you get to where you're going. And that's why you don't serve any hot beverages. It's big enough that you get lost even if you work here, huh? I feel like if you're on this cru cruise liner, you don't want hot drinks anyway. Unless it's like in the morning you want coffee. Hmm? Yes? About luxury cruise ship. The service is fantastic and the food here is also first class. I couldn't imagine using any other ship for traveling. So you've been on this ship a lot? Yes, I've been here and there. I still like Rhyme City though. It's a nice city. Got the man with luggage. Was well, there someone like that? I didn't notice. Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, hello. Lapras! About the luxury cruise ship. There's a show at the pool and you'll be performing too, huh? When's it gonna be? Oh, tomorrow, huh? I don't think I'll be able to watch. Well, good luck. Yes. About the luxury cruise ship. This is my first time on a prime treasure. I plan to enjoy it as much as I can. Got my luggage. I don't think I saw anyone like that. I was too busy enjoying the view of the sky. What about you? You look like you actually work here. May I help you? About the cruise ship. If there is any problem, please don't hesitate to let us know. Should you wish to use the pool, we have towels available as well. No, we're okay. Thank you very much. About the men with luggage. Men with luggage? No, sir. I haven't seen them. That's very strange, though. We usually only allow freight, freight to be moved around at night when all of our customers have retired. Uh-huh. 
Can I help you? About the cruise ship. We always come on board the ship for the carnival. I bet you get a great view of the parade. That's true, too, but this ship is a special place for us. You see, this is where my husband proposed to me. He even had a special bouquet of flowers for me. That sounds lovely. What kind of bouquet was it? He <laughs> he you should ask my husband. Oh wait shit, I didn't ask about the luggage. Let me ask about the luggage. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone like that come this way. Alright. Hmm, what can I do for you? About the cruise ship. My wife and I always come on board this ship when the carnival season gets near. The year's carnival is going to be great, too. About luggage. Men with luggage? No, I haven't seen them. They haven't come by this way. About the bouquet. Huh? My bouquet? Oh, did my wife tell you about it? Man, well, you see, the bouquet is actually the fireworks. There's a large fireworks display before the parade at night. And so, you know, I call them my bouquet for her. Oh, I see. That sounds romantic. I somehow didn't think you'd know much about romance, Tim. Uh, what do you, th you think I don't know? You think I don't know, huh? You say I should take a swim, too. Uh, yeah, I imagine it's refreshing, but I'm pretty busy. You bet it's it because I can't swim? How rude. About the cruise ship. Everyone's just lying around and nobody seems to want to go for a swim. Adults are like that, you know. Alright, let's see. Uh, ask you. Aren't you hot dressed like that? About the cruise ship. I was told there was a special selection process and that plebeian and that plebeians couldn't get on board. My god. But maybe they were mistaken. You managed to get on after all. What? You want some trouble or something? Pikachu, calm down. About men with luggage. Men with luggage? No, it doesn't ring a bell. By Centino. Are Centino behind you, your partners? Oh yes, they are. I'm glad you could tell. Aren't they adorable? We've won some Pokemon contests before. Their fur is so fluffy and glossy. Huh? What? Do you have a problem with my fur or something, Tim? I didn't say anything. What do they guys say? About the cruise ship. It's always super clean and fun to be here. Do you ride the ship often? You've been on a lot of times. Ever since you were a mint, you know? Man, I'm jealous. Okay. Let's see. This and Who all else is on board here? Actually, it might help to talk to other... Oh, I've already talked to you. Okay. I haven't talked to you yet. Yes, do you need me? About the cruise ship. The passengers on the ship are very high profile, so staff usually don't start carrying luggage around until nighttime to avoid being a disturbance. But today I've seen men carrying things wandering around already. They come through here? Yes, I saw them pass by. They were heading toward the lounge. The lounge? Yes, you see the two doors past the pillars right there? Go through one on the right and just go straight. Oh, thank you very much. I want to go upstairs. Hey, Tim. Tim. We need to go into Research of R. Let's head to the lounge. I want to go upstairs first. I want to see what people up here have to say. I might be able to find some more info. Can I not talk to this person? Apparently not. I guess all the people I can talk to are downstairs. That would make sense, kind of. Not really. I can talk to this guy. What can I do for you? About the cruise ship. You can get a great view of fireworks from the carnival from here. They don't start until the evening, but I couldn't wait, so I came early. About men with luggage. Can't help you there. I guess they didn't come this way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I want to talk to everybody on here in case we get some more information. I know they said, like, oh, you can find the people uh, going through the pillars, but mm -hmm. somebody might actually have some more info. Huh? I said if you're ordering drinks, to go order from the village on the first floor. I guess it's handling some other kind of job here. What the cruise ship. It says it does have a job on the it says it does have a job on the ship, but now it's time for it to work. Sounds like an awful like an excuse for slacking off to me. You've actually got a very important mission. I wonder what it means. Hmm, it's gone quiet. Must be a secret. A secrety secrety secret. Okay, so if we go over here, we cannot talk to this guy. Okay. Let's go downstairs and we can Go through the pillars and the door on the right, she says. The lounge is supposed to be straight ahead, right? That it is. So if we keep going. She said she saw them bring stuff into the lounge. This place is fancy as hell. This is impressive. Everything is super luxurious. Okay. What's up? About the cruise ship. 
The lounge is so spacious, I love it. It's very relaxing. But men carrying luggage. Oh, maybe I've just seen those people. They went upstairs behind me. Thank you very much. Right, let's head after them. Okay. What do you have to say about this cafe? You have a variety of beverages as well as snacks and light meals. The village will deliver anything you order. They serve the lounge, but they will also bring an order to the deck or even to your room. That sounds neat. Get me some coffee, Tim. You're going to order something? We're in the middle of investigating. All right, all right. Once we find out where the stuff went, then. Okay. So if we go upstairs. Oh, hello. Crock rock. Rough bouncers. Uh, what? Crack. We're not allowed to go in. Oh, come on. Don't be so uptight. All we want is to peek in the room. What? Okay, okay. We'll leave. But can we ask a quick question? Did you two guys... Did you two guys... Care? Did two guys carrying some luggage come through this way? They went inside. So then R must be past that door. Yeah. Get out of here. All right, all right. Come on, Tim. Let's go out. Let's get out of here for now. Right. Crocker rock guards are trouble. But if the lounge is where R went, then that's the room we need to investigate. So you and I need to find a way in. Right on. All right, so we got to get into the room past the Crocker rock. But how do... Nine Tails has luxurious fur. Mm hmm. Got the cruise ship. It says the house it normally lives in is similar, but the ship has more space, so it lags better here. Uh huh. What about you? What do you guys say? Hmm. Did you need something? Got the cruise ship. I come on board from time to time because Nine Tails seems to enjoy it. So much space. Okay, so we can't go in there. How does one. Get into that room via distracting. Oh, hello. Hey, Tim. What are you uh, doing here? Amelia. What are you doing here? I, I just I'm asked here that. For work. Apparently, watching the parade from this ship is popular among celebrities. But what brought you guys here? We're still on the trail of Keith. The clues led us here. Huh? But what would Keith have to do with this cruise? Well, we don't know for sure. But he must be on the ship at least. We're going to find out. We do know that he's smuggling on. We're going to fuck him oh, up. No. If that stuff gets out into the world, it'll be a disaster. You've got to let me help you find Keith, all right? I appreciate that. But, uh. I can help you gather information since I'm a reporter. <sighs> Maybe she's right. Yeah, we could probably use her help. Pikachu. To get past the guards. I'd rather not get her involved in this either, but we could use some help. Okay. We're counting on you, Amelia. You're searching for Keith, right? Is there anything you want to know about the cruise ship? This is one of the most luxurious cruise ships in the world, the SS Prime Treasure. I would never have expected them to use this ship for smuggling. Do you know where the ship is headed? I don't. Sorry. The ship apparently travels all over the world, and destinations are decided by request from the passengers. How did you get on board, Tim? We infiltrated the R factory and snuck into one of the containers they were shipping out. They carried us on board just like that. How could you do something so reckless? I'm glad you're safe anyway. First of all, why would you get on a cruise ship that you don't know where it's going? Why would you do that? You're going to pop up God knows where. You're going to go, you're, you're going to be like, oh, I live in America. I went on this cruise ship for work. I don't know where it's going. And you're going to wind up in like Alaska or some shit. Or not, that's still the US, I believe. But like, you're going to wind up in like Antarctica or some shit. But the room guarded by Krakarok. The room at the back of the second floor? I didn't even notice it. Is that where they've taken R? Yes, but it's guarded by Crocker Rock, and we can't get in. It's wonderful that we were able to find out where R was going, but the room is guarded? Let's see. Is this the Crocker Rock you mentioned? Yes, that's exactly the Pokemon we saw. I didn't know you had a Pokedex, Amelia. This is actually a collection of my own notes. I write down everything that might be useful whenever I get a chance to see one of the various Pokedexes. Wait, you made all this by hand? Pretty impressive, Amelia. Let's see, I'm sorry to say Electro-type moves won't have an effect on Croc Rock. Pikachu will be at disadvantage in battle. Oh well, that's too bad. We might be able to find out a little bit about what the room will be used for. There's a cruise newspaper and has scheduled all the events that occur on this ship. I gotta get that newspaper. Oh, that might be helpful. Let's have a look. Apparently we already got it. Let's see, the event in that room is the Prime Treasure Show. Whoa, that's an impressive name. What kind of show is it? Oh, I bet I know. We talked to that Lapras earlier about the interviews. 
Maiko and I were working on se separately this time. I'm in charge of covering this ship. I'm mostly done, though. I'm the, the only thing left is an interview. An interview? With who? First, we'll interview the famous chef, Mr. Gino Farina. What? You mean THE Gino Farina? You know him, Pikachu? Of course I do. He's a renowned chef. He has a restaurant in Rhyme City, too. But it's so popular you can't ever get a reservation. Apparently, he's a friend of Mr. Graham's. That's why we've been able to get a special interview with him. So, is Mr. Graham on board as well? Yes, he was kind enough to come with me. About the show. I wonder what kind of show it is. I don't know anything about it. Sorry. No problem. Thank you to no thank you. Thanks to you, we know the name of the show now. I'll ask around to see if anyone knows about it. Good luck. I'll just finish the interview. I'll try and find out what I can about the show. I'd appreciate that. I guess I'll see you around then. Once we finish up what we need to do, let's meet up here. Oh, and you should use this. It's an order sheet for drinks. If you hand it to Frillish, they'll bring what you ordered. Okay, cool. I think it's best if you two take a break, even if it's just for a little bit. Thank you very much. Ooh, that's a lifesaver. Once we're done gathering testimony, let's get some coffee, Tim. Okay. Find out about the show. Well, good thing there's a staff member right the fuck there. The best clue we have so far is the show that's supposed to be held in that room. Let's find out more about it. Too bad we can't talk to the actual person there. Hey, Tim! I'm asking around about the show and the lounge. What do you think I'm about to do, big dog? Welcome. Uh, about the show. It seems to be a show that's almost a tradition on this ship. Customers complain of not getting seats, but I've never heard anyone say they haven't seen it. If you would like to order, please give an order sheet to the frillish with a tray. The frillish that are not carrying anything will help customers with their bags. Okay. So if a frillish isn't carrying anything, then it's a help with baggage. What's up? About the show. I don't know anything about that. I'm really not interested in events or anything. Fruit? But the cruise ship. Oh, you're in charge of serving the lounge, including the second floor alone. That sounds rough. It makes it more rewarding? Huh, it's a good attitude to have. Let's see, so we know there are people around here. Oh, shit. Okay, this is a rug. I thought that this is just like a black, empty void. Okay. Hey there, isn't the ship wonderful? It's the perfect place to spend time with my girlfriend. But the cruise ship. It's an elegant experience. I love it. That show. Oh yes, that show. My girlfriend wanted to see it, so I tried to get tickets when I booked our reservation. Even then, we didn't manage to get the seats. If anyone would be willing to part with their ticket, I'd pay anything they asked. My boyfriend got tickets for me. It's my cruise ship. About the cruise ship. It's a pretty impressive ship. I was quite surprised. I told my boyfriend I wanted to see it, but he couldn't get tickets. Somehow, knowing I can't see it makes me want to see it even more. Okay, so it is a very hard to see show. I just love traveling by ship. I thought I'd get a good. I thought it'd be, be a good daughter for once, and got tickets from me and my mother. The atmosphere is relaxing. The food is good. I can imagine a more luxurious trip. About the show. Oh, there's a show like that on a ship. I didn't know. Well. Hello. Did you need something? About the ship. It's been on cruises my, many times, but this one is a gift from my daughter. I'm enjoying it more than any trip I've been on. She must be a wonderful daughter to give you a cruise like this as a gift. About the show. It must be quite the show, especially since it has ship's name as part of the title. I'd love to see it. Maybe I should ask my daughter. Okay. I don't think there's anyone here who's been on the Prime Treasure Show. Let's go talk to people on the deck. We can leave through the exit facing the cafe. Alright, so we can go to the deck. We do know somebody who's part of a show. Who would have thought that we'd run into Amelia on this ship? You know what? That's called destiny. It, yeah, is it? What are you talking about? Come on, don't act so nonchalant. You're enjoying this, I know. Don't worry, I understand. I I don't know what you're talking about. I know what he's talking about, but... Tim here is a little dense. Good thing we know somebody who's in show business on this boat. About the luxury cruise ship. What's that? You're part of the show that happens at this pool? What kind of show is that? You create balloons that fit a Pokemon inside. That's pretty impressive. I didn't realize you had that kind of talent. Let's talk to the Lapras. Okay, I guess she don't know. Here's a staff member. About the show. 
Hey, tickets are completely sold out. We don't have many other events planned on board the ship, so I might suggest joining these instead. Fruit? Let's see. About the show. The Prime Treasure Show? Huh, I didn't know they had a show like that. I'd love to see it. Okay, well, you're useless. How about you? What do you guys say for yourself? About the show. Definitely a flashy name, don't you think? I've seen the name mentioned on the ship's newspaper, but I don't know what kind of show it is. Alright, so, let's see. What do you have to say? About the show. The Prime Treasure Show? I didn't realize this ship had anything like that. Sorry, I don't know much about it, though I'm not really interested in events here. Apparently, I didn't ask you about the ship. Seems like they finished bringing the luggage. I wonder what that was all about. Oh, I did ask you about it. You just had something different to say about it. You're the one who told me they took the stuff to the lounge. Fruit? Okay, so... Ask them. Nope. Bet you she knows about the show. About the show. Ooh, you mean that show. No, I don't know anything. God damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch. What about you? Do you know anything about the show? Can't say I've heard of it. I'm not a big fan of shows, to be honest. Have, have a sit still and just watch, and it isn't my thing. By your wife. I hear it's a show you can only see on the ship. I admit I'm curious, but they say tickets are impossible to come by. I've never really tried getting one. About the cruise ship. I'm looking forward to the fireworks this year. You can get a great view from the ship. How much you want to bet they're putting R in the fireworks? So there isn't anyone here who saw the show either, huh? Yeah, it's also weird that nobody's able to get tickets. This is going to take some thinking. Let's get ourselves some coffee. We've got an order sheet here, so let's try finding a frillish. Okay. Well, we know there's a frillish over here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Come here. Hey! Hey! I want to place an order. Hey! Why does Chinchino keep looking at me? Is there something stuck on me? Oh, who's got a crush on people now? Who's getting crushed on? Place an order. You take your, you'll take the our orders. I'm getting coffee. Tim Black naturally. Got it. I'll write that down. Now what should I have? I will have an iced coffee. It says write down how much sugar we want. Uh three cubes. Now we just need to select a number of each drink. Which one, right? Once you've got it down, handy in the order sheet to frillish. Yeah. So we each get a coffee. I like how I'm okay, but I like how I'm the only one who ordered a nice coffee, but they got two. Ooh, much better. Sometimes an iced coffee is just a thing. Yeah, I'd forgotten in all the excitement, but we haven't eaten anything since we snuck into the factory. Yeah, detective's gotta be tough. Now, did you just put sugar in your coffee? Are you about to face off against? Ke We're about to face off against Keith. You need to be more hard-boiled. Can I please just drink what I want? Keith sure has some nerve planning to smuggle R on a luxury cruise like this. Yeah, that hall has got to be hiding something. I mean, nobody's seen the show at all. It's almost certain they've carried R into that hall, but we need more information. I don't think t talking to people is going to get us anything new, though we should meet up with Amelia. I agree, she might be done with her work. That, and that's that. Let's head back to the lounge. Alright. So we head back to the lounge. Let me in. Let's head on back. What? What was that? It's coming from this room. Excuse me, hello? Is everything okay? Rose Milton, affluent elderly woman. I'm sorry about that. A strange thing was in my bag. Sorry to make such a scene, but it frightened me. What was in your bag? Could I ask you to take a look? Yes, of course. She better hit us on the back of the head of the baseball bat. What in the world? What the fuck? Huh. That's a confabricus mask. mask. Isn't it scary looking? It's confabricus. Maybe it's some sort of prank. My poor snubble was quite frightened as well. Fragile heart. Oh. Is it really that scared? Let's see. 
Hmm? <laughs> Poor thing. Knock it off, Pikachu. Yeah, sorry. I guess it really was scared. Hey, you... This is a real mystery, which means a job for us. Uh huh. Yes. I'm glad a kind young man like you is close by. My name is Rose. Rose Milton. My name's Tim, and this is my partner, Pikachu. About the suitcase. I use it for traveling. I had all my clothing and personal items. When was the last time you opened it? Just this morning, before I got on the ship. And did you have the suitcase with you the whole time? No, I had checked in with the ship's staff once I got on board. I collected it from the front desk, and Snubble here helped carry it to my room. I wanted to get my favorite lap blanket out, but when I opened the suitcase, it had that mask inside. Where would my suitcase have gone? Got the mask. I've never seen anything like it. It's rather unsettling. There must be a mistake somewhere. The more I look at it, the stranger this mask seems. Who could have brought a mask like this onto the ship? About Snubble. It's a gentle and sensitive darling. I think the mask gave it quite a scare. I'm really sorry my Pikachu got carried away. Oh, it's fine. You'll be friends with Snubble, won't you, Pikachu? Of course. And no more pranks like that, okay? I'm sorry, okay? Believe it or not, I do feel bad. Uh-huh. We have a real mystery on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, but I think it's going to be a mystery we solve in the next episode. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Comment below, thank you, video. make sure to subscribe, and sub channel help series helps me as a whole. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Take bars, little man.